Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh book from Kazimit Publishing. It is part of Illustrated series and this time it is dedicated to Fawai's Coil Pocket. It happened in Normandy August 1944 and now we have a whole book dedicated only to this um, battle I would say. And as you can see it's written by Yves Buffeteau, it's a famous French World War II historian. Now, before he was writing a lot of books in French and now some of those books are translated into the illustrated series and we have a chance to get them actually uh, together with a lot of photos inside and quite extensive analysis of what is inside. I mean the conflict, the history and even some material combined together with strategic explanation. So as you can see printing uh, format here is quite typical for this uh, series. It's a soft cover, quite thick one as you can see here and then on the rear side we have cover profile and several photos from this conflict. By the way here you can see also the price so in US it will be $25 and in UK it will be £20 British pounds and it is already available so if you would like to get it straight away without watching just go to their Kazimit Publishing website. Okay so what do we have inside? Inside we get um, a lot of illustrations. There are 120 photos inside, but here we have the contents page. So let's zoom in a bit and we will take a closer look. So first of all, we have a quite interesting division by the chapters. So as you can see, author first introduces us to the state of German forces at the moment before this conflict. Then we go for the British pressure of the north uh, on the north of the front, Franco-American envelopment, Germans retreat into the pocket, then pocket closes and Germans break out, afterward further reading and index of course. So what do we have inside? First of all, traditionally for illustrated series we have the timeline of events so that you have some background on how this event happened and what was before. So this particular battle is interesting because uh, due to the Hitler's um, uh, refusal to acknowledge that forces were circled by allies, uh, he refused to retreat those forces and that's why they ended up in the pocket, hence the name. And here you can see some of the photos, so I guess we will see more of the photos of the allied uh, vehicles and allied soldiers, as you can see here we have some aircraft. This one might be an interesting shot because as you can see that's a Typhoon MK-1B fighter and I guess I shouldn't mention with which kit they will be useful, this shot. And here by the way you can see also the P-47. Next we go on with M-10 tank destroyer. Here we have the British pressure on the north of the front. This one by the way, um, what is this? This is a broom bar. And as you can see, quite an interesting um, shot of the broken vehicle. It might be a good idea to copy it in the diorama, no matter which scale, it still will be interesting. Here we have the color profiles, and those color profiles, as you can see, not that much detailed because they are painted, but still they might be handy for those who would like to replicate some particular marking option in um, their project in their scale project of course. Note that markings are given also for the vehicles, for the armored vehicles, so uh, they are not limited only to the aircraft. By the way here we have quite an interesting shot of the armored recovery vehicle which was based on the Sherman, so if you would like to copy it this might be uh, nice background information for you or a reference photo. So as you can see we have a lot of photos with soldiers as well and I just wonder where to find that many figurines for such the aroma. We have maps, as I said before, every action is explained on the map as well, so that you understand how the forces advanced and what was done wrong. Here we have again the profiles for British tanks, because British army was also participating together with Canadian forces. And here we have the American vehicles, then we have that's a quite interesting Horch, Waffen SS Horch, leaving Orbeck in the rain in the daylight. And then here you can see the Panzer Force 
as you can see Germans were um, they had to break out of this pocket here you can see the panther next we have another panther and this is quite nice shot in my opinion next we have where is um, Rex so here for example destroyed Citroen and the truck so we all know where to get such Citroen kit in 148 scale if you get the hint and then here we have for example abandoned um, Sherman Panther and that's quite an interesting diorama scene in my opinion so keep it in mind and that's all here we have also the index uh, once again in total there are 128 pages and in my opinion this is another nice addition into the illustrated series and you can get it for relatively reasonable money so if you would like to know more about this conflict to have more reference photos in your library this might be a perfect choice to get and the price is set at quite a reasonable level in my opinion so uh, you can go directly to the Kazimit Publishing and choose this book and maybe also some other books from the same illustrated series. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this book here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us, it will help you as well uh, not to miss any new video reviews and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!